So what on earth is this video about? Because really, the Bible's a book, and if you want to read it, just read it. That's the end of it. Well, that's true enough in some ways, although unlike many books, it is in fact a collection of books written by different people with different styles and different purposes. Uh, the other thing is that there are two sections, what's usually called the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament is stuff that was written before Jesus Christ was born. The New Testament is all stuff that was written after he died. The key thing is it's not just any old book, it's not a novel. And so the way you would read it quite often is that you might want to search for a particular place. I mean, I would recommend if you want to start reading the Bible for the very first time, start with one of the Gospels. Um, some say John. Somewhere like that is a great place to start, rather than just at the beginning. As I say, there are lots of different books, and so you might want to find one in particular. And how are you going to do that? Well, go to the table of contents. In the table of contents, you'll usually find that there's an alphabetic listing, as well as the, a listing in the order that the books appear. And it's fine if you know something about the order of the books, and then that way round can be helpful but for most of us uh, an alphabetic listing is going to be more useful so it's good to mark where the table of contents is and then you can always find it um, it may be in the front it may be in the back this particular bible has been really quite strongly separated in terms of the old and the new what do i mean by that well the page numbering starts again at one for the new testament and to a mere mortal like probably you or I, that seems frankly verging on the absurd and certainly not very practical for finding stuff when you're first trying to navigate around the Bible. If you want to find uh, the story of Jesus, uh, there are four Gospels, which many of us have heard of, which are Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. And knowing that those are in the New Testament will help you find them. Unfortunately, in this particular Bible, there are two alphabetic listings effectively, one for the Old Testament and one for the New. So it's worth remembering that when you're trying to find something and it may be that you think it's in the New Testament but actually it turns out to be in the Old and so just check both listings. The other thing that I think is important to remember is that this is in fact a spiritual book and its purpose is to help us find God, uh, obviously the God of the Bible, um, and if that's your intention, then I highly recommend that you start every time you read by praying a simple prayer along the lines of, thank you God for this special book. Please give me your understanding of it. I hope that you do get into the Bible and, you know, for some of you, the intention may not be to gain spiritual insight, but to find out what us weird Christians are all about and what we think. Um, and yeah, you know, I just hope that you get into the Bible and enjoy it.